Good evening and welcome. Welcome to our feast this evening. Woo okay, settle down, settle down. Welcome to everybody online. It's lovely to have you here. I'm sorry you can't smell and share in the food, but we'll, we'll enjoy it for you. And welcome to everybody in the building. As you can probably tell, we've been in the kitchen this afternoon and we want to eat together to feast and celebrate uh, this evening. So before we do that, shall we declare the truth about Easter? Yeah. Shall we? Hallelujah! Christ is risen! He's risen indeed! Hallelujah! Oh, I feel better now. Excellent. <laughs> okay, so um, we're going to do things in a slightly different order this evening. Because we have food, uh, it should be warm, but you know, I've been chatting, so it might be cool by now. Um, we're going to do the grace first. Then we're going to have a song played for us to get us in the mood for a party. Then we will eat. Okay. Oh, and then you're going to come up. Grace is going to come up. Grace. Um, oh, is Grace going to speak before I say Grace? Okay, so I've got them around the wrong way. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Ooh, okay, so, so do you want to come up now then? Yeah, Grace is going to come up now. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Uh, so this is a, a spoken word called Gathered Round His Table. A spoken word. Hosanna! Hosanna in the highest! Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna! Hail King Jesus! Praise to the King of Kings! Mighty is his name! Holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty who was and is and is to come. Hosanna! Praise to the King of Kings! Can you imagine? what the feast in the new kingdom will look like. Every tribe, every tongue, every woman, every child, every man, every grandma, every aunt, every uncle, every delivery driver and doctor, every musician and baker, the TV designer and candlestick maker, all who are poor, all who are hungry, all who thirst for righteousness, all who believe, gathered round his table. Can you imagine what the feast in the new kingdom will look like? There will be no more tears or anxiety or worry, no more death or deception, no more pain or suffering, all stress gone, all fear dispelled, only joy and cheering, smiles and gladness, completion and wholeness. This will be true happiness. Can you imagine what the feast in the new kingdom will look like, where we stand face to face with our bridegroom who bids us welcome. Come and join the wedding feast, an almighty celebration, the climax, the culmination of all we've been waiting for. Can you imagine what the feast in the new kingdom will look like? Brothers and sisters, this isn't a picture only for the future, but also for now. In Jesus' death and resurrection, he has claimed victory over the grave and over all that hinders us in this world. He has created a new order of things. His kingdom is for now and not yet in its fullness. We have a glimpse of this feast right here where all are welcome, where all are invited where Jesus, by the power of the Holy Spirit, can bring about transformation into our lives, where we can celebrate his goodness in the midst of the hard things, where we can proclaim his authority, even when we can't see a way through, where we can dance in his freedom, believing in all his promises. We long for the day when Jesus comes again. In here and now, we can live as if we are there. <laughs> oh, the feast arrives. <laughs> Excellent. Um, I think we should give a big whoop whoop to Grace because she wrote that today. Whoop whoop whoop! Whoop whoop whoop! 
look, I've got my iPad, but I can't use it, so I've gone back to my bit of paper. <laughs> Sorry, I got in a muddle, Grace. <laughs> okay. I'm going to say a Celtic invocation of the Holy Spirit. Most powerful Holy Spirit, Spirit, come down upon us and subdue us. From heaven, where the ordinary is made glorious and glory seems ordinary. Bathe us with the brilliance of your light like dew. Amen. And our blessing, as the food is being served up, let me just tell you what we're having, then I'll say the blessing. There is roast lamb, Persian-style roast lamb, and there is hubby roast lamb, roast potatoes, salads, and there are puff pastry vegetarian options too, and lots of salady bits, and wraps to put everything in. So you've only got a fork, because we don't want to do all the washing up. <laughs> oh dear, sorry. <laughs> I'm slightly hysterical. And chicken. Oh, and there's chicken. Oh, there's pomegranate chicken. A Persian-style pomegranate chicken as well. So um, we went Middle Eastern. Hopefully you like it. There's, there's, there's nibbles if you don't like any of the other things. But please help yourself and have a go. See what you like. So our blessing. Bless, O Lord, this food that we are about to eat. And we pray, O God, that it may be good for our soul and... If that is any poor creature, hungry or thirsty, walking the road, may God send them in to us so we can share the food with them, just as Christ shares his gifts with all of us. Amen. Please don't be shy, dig in. Oops. Hit, hit, oh, shackles! Let's have shackles, please. <laughs>
Satan gleamed with pleasure that day at Calvary. For he thought he had won a mighty victory. And like him, all of the demons of hell began to cheer. <laughs> oh, but little did they know.
Luiz. I don't know when we start. Oh, okay. So we're going to have a time of worship now. Um, I appreciate you're still eating, but you can um, stand up and sing if you wish, or sit and eat and just enjoy it. It's up to you, but we're going to worship our Lord.
Excuse the sitting down. <laughs> now, what you do when you're, you're a curate in the Church of England is that you invite the old man to come and eat. <laughs> and then, as soon as he's full up, you say, will you do the reading, Pops? <laughs> so you've got indigestion. You've just, you've just sung your all-time favourite song. And so here we go, the Word of God. So we're, co we're reading from Corinthians, uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 5. Since then, we know what it is to fear the Lord. We try to persuade others. What we are is plain to God, and I hope is also plain to your conscience. We are not trying to commend ourselves to you again but we are trying to give you an opportunity to take pride in us so that you can answer those who take pride in what is seen rather than what is in the heart. If we are out of our mind, as some say, it is for God. If we are in our right mind, it is for you. For Christ's love compels us because we are convinced that one died for all and therefore... All died. 
And he died for all, that those who live should no longer live for themselves, but for him who died for them and was raised again. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Good. <laughs> so from now on, we regard no one from a worldly point of view. Though we once regarded Christ in this way, we do, not, we do so no longer. Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, the new creation has come. The old has gone. The new is here. All this is from God, who reconciled us to himself through Christ and gave us the ministry of reconciliation. That God was reconciling the world to himself in Christ, not counting people's sins against them. Yeah, yes. And he has committed to us this message of reconciliation. We are therefore Christ's ambassadors, as though God were making his, his appeal through us. We implore you on Christ's behalf, be reconciled to God. God made him who had no sin to be sin for us, so that in him we might become the righteousness of God. Amen. I'll get there in the end. Do I need to introduce you? And I thought, no. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, they are a new creation. The old has gone, the new has come. Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Hallelujah. I'm going to keep it brief tonight because tonight is about partying. But I was drawn to this passage this evening after thinking about the reality of that feast in the new kingdom. What it might look like and our identity as resurrection people, as Easter people, as new creations. What does it mean to live like Jesus' kingdom is now? To live alive as new creations as it says, if anyone, young, old, black, white, male, female, etc., you heard it earlier. If anyone is in Christ, they are a new creation. I'm fascinated by that phrase, in Christ. It's, it's so literal for me in my brain. My brain moves forwards in it. I move towards Christ. I'm in Christ. To be in Christ is to have made a choice to belong to him, to have fellowship with him, to follow in his ways, to have turned from the world to be with him. So all who have believed are new creations. How do you feel about that? <laughs> right? Yeah, that's the right answer. <laughs> I don't know how you, about you, but do you feel like new creations most days when you woke up or not? No, I didn't this week. Definitely not. And yet, this statement is true and eternal. And I want to implore us this evening to live in the reality of this truth and to keep reminding one another, even in a few weeks' time when Easter's in the distant past, we're like, Easter what? We need to remind each other that we are resurrection people. We are new creations. Jesus has claimed for us in his death and resurrection victory over sin and the grave. All that binds us and hinders us, all that our old self might have desired, all has become new. All is renewed, restored. We are new creations. And this is not just for ourselves. 
Not just a warm, fuzzy feeling, not just a quick fix, a self-help fix, not just something we can pick up and put down as we please. It's an inward transformation for us and for all that we meet. As Bill read brilliantly, it says, all this is from God who reconciled us to himself through Christ and gave us a ministry of reconciliation. That God was reconciling the world to himself in Christ, not counting people's sins against them. We are therefore Christ's ambassadors, as though God was making his appeal through us. Wow, what a promotion. I am Christ's ambassador, thank you very much. We are Christ's ambassadors. We are called to be an example of what Christ has done for us. Our lives, a picture of God's kingdom at work. And in this, I want to draw, if you've been with us this term in the 6 p.m. service, we've been on a journey thinking about our own discipleship, what it is to be with Jesus, what it is to become like him so that we can do what he did. And next week, we're going to be starting a new series where we're thinking about mission and evangelism. And that's going to be called Making Disciples. And that's a, it's, it's a proper journey, the cross in the middle. He... What he has done for us enables us to become his follower, to become like him, that we may go and make disciples. That ministry of reconciliation, as it says here. Sharing the good news of Jesus and inviting people to be reconciled with God. Then doing life with them as resurrection people and Jesus comes again. It's pretty cool, right? Love it. So we are Easter people, resurrection people, new creations. And I wonder for this evening, if there's any areas of your life where we aren't really living this reality, or you're sitting there going, I didn't know that. Um, That's good. That's a great place to be. Come and find out. Come to the Discipleship Series course. Come and talk to me. Come and talk to Mandy and Esther. We'd love to tell you the realities of the kingdom of God and what they mean for our everyday life. But I wonder if if you know Jesus and you know that there are some areas of your life where you don't wake up feeling like a new creation in that area. I want to encourage you to talk to Jesus about that tonight. Easter is the day for celebration, for abandonment and joy for all that Christ has done and is doing in our lives. Let's take this opportunity to not leave here the same, but to walk out confidently as Christ's ambassadors, reconciled, resurrected for his name. And if you are sitting there going, I don't think I'm in the in Christ category this evening, if you haven't been reconciled to him, if you you don't quite know what that looks like, come. Come and receive his life. That is when he bursts forth from the grave. I don't think, I don't know what happens. We don't know what happens. He just wasn't there. But I imagine he burst forth and he is alive. He's come so we may have life. His joy, his freedom, his resurrection. We implore you, on behalf of Christ, be reconciled to God. There is no better decision you can make. Amen? So at this point, we would normally take some quiet time. But we're having a party tonight. (laughs) So can I invite the um, band to come back up, please? And we will have some more music. We will celebrate. And while we're having some music, we're going to bring some desserts out. So, um, sorry? They're they're out at the back. Oh, they're out at the back. Help yourself uh, um, to the desserts. Have the ice creams come out? Oh, I was going to say, there's more, there's more. Okay, so enjoy.
thinking on what Grace has just brought to us, we're going to sing Revelation song, which gives us a chance to reflect on who and what Jesus is. Sing that again. Thank you. 
glorious day. Okay, we're going to ramp it up a bit now. Get ready to celebrate our risen Lord. I'm a bit out of breath. <laughs> How glorious was that? Christ is risen! It's risen indeed! Hallelujah! <laughs> Thank you. So, I'm going to do the blessing. We're going to have another... How many songs? Two songs? Another two songs. And then I'll come back to say bye-bye. Is that okay? The blessing. The God of peace who brought again from the dead our Lord Jesus Christ, that great shepherd of the sheep, make you perfect or make us perfect in every good work to do his will. And the blessing of the Father, Son and the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen. Amen. Thank you, band.
Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I'll praise in the valley. I'll praise you on the mountain.
last one to party. Okay. It's getting serious. The tambourines come out. with joy. Serve the Lord with gladness, for Christ our Lord is risen. He is risen indeed. Alleluia and amen. Thank you for coming. If I could ask you um, to give us a little bit of a hand if you have time, maybe take your plates out this way towards the kitchen area so we can sort up. Aww. Thank you, team. Thank you, team. And the music. Woo and Grace. Woo and of course, Jesus. <laughs> Thank you. Good night. <laughs> Yeah.